Hi there everybody, welcome to Audacious Devotionals. Um, I'm Dave Adams, uh, part of the, uh, the Central Campus uh, in Manchester and uh, I also help run a small group and I have the great privilege of teaching in our, uh, in our college. Uh, today I want us to think about a word uh, out of John's Gospel, it's John chapter 8 and verse 12. And Jesus makes this uh, lovely statement that's so famous. I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but have the light of life. And I love this, um, th this verse. John's Gospel <clears throat> has a lot of statements about light. Um, and notice that uh, in the second part it begins with whoever so it's there for anybody who chooses to follow Jesus uh, I hope this morning that you're going to be a whoever uh, and a follower uh, following him well Jesus said I'm the light of the world now we know light is really really important um, biologically light is the beginning of all of our food um, Green plants are able to, to capture the energy out of, out of sunlight and they're able to transform it into carbohydrates and proteins um, and fats and all the other stuff that we need for, for our diet. Um, and that's where your food starts. Uh, even if you want to live off of beef, uh, then the cow eats the grass and the grass has made its food from sunlight. Uh, so light is really, really important to us. Um, and, you know, I, I love the fact that uh, that when we come home and it's it's a dark, uh, dark evening, then we just simply walk in the house, switch on the light and the whole place lights up. We've got light um, and uh, it makes such a difference to our lives. Just imagine for a minute uh, living in a world where there was no electricity and no electric light. Um, it would be it would be, be very very difficult from uh, or different from what we have. Um, one one of my uh, pet hates, I think, um, is motion control lights that don't work very well. Uh, have you ever been in a situation where you're going to a place where it's got motion control lights? Usually they are loose, uh, and you go in, the light comes on. That's great. Um, and then you set about doing whatever you have to do um, and halfway through the light goes off and, and you sat there waving your arms or doing whatever trying to get the light to come on it really is annoying um, darkness is something that most people find difficult you know when winter comes and, and the dark evenings uh, come around again uh, you know you People become depressed and uh, we, we love it when the lighter nights start coming because you see when it goes dark you can't read, it limits what you can do, you stumble, uh, you, you sometimes feel in danger um, and uh, it's very difficult. When, when I was teaching in school a friend of mine used to do a, an assembly um, and he'd do this with, the, with year seven pupils and uh, he, he'd ask for some volunteers and if you ask seven year olds for a volunteer you you know um out of our of, we, we had uh, 300 kids in our first year you'd have you'd have a hundred volunteering them he'd choose about four or five um and then he would um, he would set up a, an obstacle course in the front of the hall and there'd be there'd be satchels and there'd be a chair and one or two other things and then he would blindfold one of the kids and say, right, uh, I want you to walk across the front of the hall. And of course, before they set off, we moved all the obstacles so it was a, a clear path for them to go. And it was really amusing watching people who couldn't see where they were going, trying to avoid the obstacles that are there. You know, Jesus in this verse really says that you've got, you've got two alternatives. One, you walk in the light. Two, you walk in darkness, which you walk in, whether it's light or darkness, that is your choice. Walking is a decision. <laughs> you decide when you're going to walk, where you're going to work, 
walk, what you're gonna work while you walk, where you take a break, and when you come back home. You know, it's a decision that, 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 that you make. And uh, I want to encourage you today to make a decision to walk with the Lord Jesus Christ. The light that Jesus gives us comes from our Bible. Um, the Bible simply says this in Psalm 119, your word is a lamp to my feet. Wow, your word, uh, it, it gives me light to know how to walk. And uh, here are some helpful decisions that I found from reading my Bible. Um, that as I walk, I am to love people. As I walk, I am to be generous towards people, even people that I don't know. Um, as I walk, it's good to think about things that are good, that are true, that are noble, that are honest, that are beautiful. As I walk, I can show God's kindness. As I walk, I'm called to be honest with people. Uh, as I walk, I am open to the Holy Spirit. He might have got an adventure, a special adventure for me uh, on this particular walk. And as I walk, I go trusting the Lord Jesus, knowing that uh, he's got my back and that he's good for me. Hey, you know, this business about love, generosity, thinking about good things, honesty, I think it's God's highway code. You know, we have a highway code for walking down an ordinary road. Well, this is God's highway code for you to walk today um, as a child of the King. Hey, come on, let's pray. Father, I want to thank you, Lord, that the steps of a good man are ordered by you. And so we just pray, Lord, uh, order our steps. We ask it in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord. Amen. Hey, I hope you all have a brilliant day. Thank you for listening this morning. God bless you.